folks, this is Philip from Paranorm Tech. Good evening to you all. This is a quick clip of the last time we were in St. Moctis Cemetery in the Lout Village. What a marvellous place it is. It is indeed. Then there are a few photographs there of our last investigation, just in case you missed it. That is the cemetery with all the bones and the skulls and the bodies that are in it. There's actually three monks inside one of them uh, tombs and uh, their arms are cut off. And uh, we don't know what the history is, but we'll try to do a spirit box session in our next session to see why were the, the hands cut off the three, the three monks that are laid in that cemetery. All them bodies that you see in them tombs and all that were in that fantastic uh, monetary you see there were all the folk they're all from back in this time back in St. Mock the Cemetery from the famine days where the people of Ireland were starved starvation and were dying with, with the famine and sent diseases and they brought the kids and their young family to the monastery for the monks and the priests to feed and survive their kids and most of the kids have, did, did die in the monastery and the priests and the monks put them into them little tombs one tomb was built believed to be built by St. Patrick himself. That's the story of the legend goes as well. So let's bring you through it. Let's show you some of the spirit box session and let's take it bit step by step and look forward to Friday Night Live at 8 o'clock back to St. Mock the Cemetery. So we'll talk to you in a few minutes, OK? Can you try and use the, the, the equipment to have in my hand and try and communicate with me? What happened here in this monastery? How many kids and children are buried here? Can you repeat my name? Can you say Philip? Can you say Philip? Repeat my name and say Philip. Can you come forward, please? Can you come forward, please? Can you come forward, please? Queen Mary. Queen Mary. Queen Mary, AAC, 444-121. Kathleen, Kathleen Carroll, Queen Mary, Army, AUX, Crops, 19th of July, 1980. He died at the age of 27 years of age. Kathleen Carroll. So. Kathleen Carroll, Queen Mary, AAC, 44412, Walker. <laughs> Kathleen yeah. Carroll, the Queen Mary Army, AUX, Crops, 19th of July, 1918, age 27. Kathleen Carroll, is your spirit here with me tonight? He worked for the Queen Mary Army, AUX Crops, 19th of July, 1918. You died at the age of 27. 44412 Worker, AAC, Queen Mary. Easy. <laughs> Kathleen, can you come forward and say Kathleen? What does the letters, the numbers, 44412 workers mean? Ours. Singing. What am I? Kathleen Carroll. 44412. Crops. Was this your army number? Yeah. Are you here with me? Did you work in the army? Harry, can you help me find the children of this graveyard? Come forward, please. Thank you, Harry. 
Is that your name? Yeah. Who's What's your name? Harry. Harry, bring the kids. Harry, bring the kids forward, please. Harry, come forward, please. Harry, can you, can you get them to say Philip? Seven. Seven. Is it following me? Seven. Is there seven kids following me, Harry? Can you get them to come forward? Say their names. Tell them don't be afraid. I'm going to walk around Mokta's house now. My name is Philip. Come forward. Okay. Harry, bring the children forward, please. Seven children, follow me, please. Come on. Looking at me. You're looking at me. Come on. Or, or am I looking at it? Where are you? Come on. We're going to... Potentially. Potentially. Come on. Can you do better than that? Monks. Where are the monks? Where are the priests? The cowards. Are the cowards? Where are these priests? Where are these priests and nuns? Mommy. Oh, mommy. Did you hear that? Mommy. It's a notch. Who said mommy? A girl said... A girl said... A girl said mommy. Are you looking for your mommy? So... Are you looking for your mommy? You... Who is St. Marcus? Can you tell me? Whenever... Who's St. Marcus? Come on. Who's St. Marcus? 1606. LCC. Come on. Philip. Philip, yes. My name is Philip. Who's speaking, Philip? Who's speaking, Philip? Some of the ghosts. Some of the ghosts. Wow, that's good. Some of the ghosts. There you go. So who's some of the ghosts? Who is St. Marcus? Can you tell me? Who's St. Marcus? Come on. Who's St. Marcus? 1606. LCC. Come on. Philip. Philip, yes. My name is Philip. Who's speaking, Philip? Who's speaking, Philip? Some of the ghosts. Some of the ghosts. Wow, that's good. Some of the ghosts. There you go. So, who's some of the ghosts? We tune in to Marcus Monastery live tomorrow evening. Unfortunately, you just have Philip, so. Be sure to tune in. I'll be watching. Will you guys? So Caroline's getting ready for her sisters getting married on Saturday morning. I will be live in St. Mark's Cemetery between anywhere between 8 and quarter past 8. Caroline will be on live chat. So that is Caroline in the live chat. And I will be doing the investigation. I will be on my own for this one because I think it is a fantastic place to investigate. And myself and Caroline will be next week live in Terminal Fecking Castle after that. So it's goodbye for me. Bye for me. And we see you live tomorrow night at 8 o'clock, anywhere between 8 and quarter past 8. The weather conditions are good in Ireland for tomorrow, and we will see you live tomorrow at around, in and around 8 o'clock. So it's goodbye for me. Bye for me. And we'll see you in our next one. Goodbye for now. Bye.